In a recent YouTube interview, Sam Altman discussed various topics, including GPT-5. Many people may have missed his statement about the future models that OpenAI is developing. In this video, I will share what he said and all the information we currently have about GPT-5, as there has been quite a bit of news about it in the past week. We can predictably say this much compute, this big of a neural network, this training data, um, this will be the capabilities of the model. Now, we can predict how it will score on some tests what we're really interested in, which gets to the la latter part of your question, is can we predict the sort of the qualitative new things, just the new capabilities that didn't exist at all in GPT-4 that do exist in future versions like GPT-5? Um, that seems important to figure out. But right now, we can say, you know, here's how we predict it'll do on this eval or this metric. GP4 has a lot of new features and improvements, like being able to talk like a person and knowing Cantex better. OpenAI has always pushed the limits of artificial intelligence study by making their models better and finding new ways to use them. On March 23, 2023, OpenAI said that it would work with ChatGPT apps. OpenAI will now be included in ChatGPT5. Here are some more facts about where AI is going now. Even though ChatGPT4 has only been out for a few days, the word ChatGPT5 is already well known. Fans of ChatGPT4 are eagerly awaiting the next artificial intelligence AI helper. People are talking about ChatGPT5. In short, ChatGPT is an AI helper that is used by millions of people helps us with our homework, writes our business plans and codes, and gives us recipes based on what's in the fridge. They even use it to write their talks. But it looks like the game will change even more with the new ChatGP4. Even though ChatGP4 just started, ChatGP5 was the top popular topic on Twitter within a day, with over 25,000 tweets about the next step in the ChatGPD story. Sam Altman, who is one of the founders of OpenAI, the company that owns ChatGPT and is the parent business of ChatGPT, explained why ChatGPT4 is much better than ChatGPT3. People seem to be very interested in the next version of the AI personal helper. Altman says that ChatGPT4 is the most original. Later this year, ChatGPT5 would come out. He also thinks it's more humane. Altman said on social media, it makes a lot less mistakes and is a lot less biased. People are playing with ChatGPT4 like it's a new toy for Christmas, so some of us are already looking forward to the next version. It's like eating breakfast and thinking about lunch at the same time. Many experts are already talking about ChatGP5 on Twitter, and the name is already more well-known than ChatGP4. So, what do these people want to see changed in the next version that hasn't already been done? Many of them can't wait for ChatGP5, which will have images that ChatGP4 doesn't have yet. ChatGP5, on the other hand, can be learned by using ChatGP4. MMLU Massive Multitask Language Understanding is a new standard that evaluates models only in zero-shot and few-shot settings to see how much they learn during pre-training. This makes the standard harder to reach and more like how we judge people. The benchmark covers 57 topics in STEM, the humanities, the social sciences, and more. It has different levels of difficulty, from easy to very hard, and tests both your understanding of the world and your ability to solve problems. There are standard subjects, like math and history, as well as more specialized ones, like law and ethics. Because the topics are detailed and cover a wide range, the benchmark is a great way to find a model's weak spots. AIs are? And what's different about them? Because again, you, some people use the metaphor that AI is like electricity, but if I pump even more electricity through the system, it doesn't pop out some other emergent intelligence, some capacity that wasn't even there before, right? Um, and so a lot of the metaphors that we're using, again, paradigmatically, you have to understand what's different about this new class of Gollum generative large language model AIs. This is one of the really surprising things talking to the experts, because they will say, these models have capabilities we do not understand how they show up, when they show up, or why they show up. And what you see here, and I'll move into some other examples that might be a little easier to understand, is that you ask the, these AIs to do arithmetic, and they can't do them, they can't do them, and they can't do them, and at some point, boom, they just gain the ability to do arithmetic. No one can actually predict 
when that'll happen. Here's another example, which is you, you, know, you train these models on all of the internet, so it, it's seen many different languages, but then you only train them to answer questions in English. So it's learned how to answer questions in English, but you increase the model size, you increase the model size, and at some point, boom, it starts being able to do question and answers in Persia. No one knows why. Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, says that AI will change society and is aware of the risks. I a little worried about this, the CEO of the company that made ChatGPT thinks that technology with artificial intelligence will change society as we know it. He thinks it has real risks, but it can also be the greatest technology humanity has ever made to make our lives much better. We've got to be careful here, said Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenA. I think people should be happy that we're a little bit scared of this. OpenA has finally given ChatGPT the eyes and ears it needs to use its best AI-based robot to its fullest potential. ChatGPT Plus users now have access to more than 70 apps that, in one way or another, make ChatGPT4 much more powerful. The new feature is still in beta, and you can tell because some apps can't do what they were made to do. Because there are so many apps and more are being made every week, we thought it would be helpful to point out which ones are worth using and do what they say they will. One of the most important things about the new ChatGPT plugins is that they can connect to the internet to read and examine data. Each plugin has some way to connect to the web, but the scraper tool is by far the most useful. Some plugins are very specific about how they use ChatGPT's connection to the internet, but Scraper is more general. It can scrape information from any website URL you give it. The Scraper tool doesn't actually scrape the web. Instead, ChatGPT's Web Scraper tool simulates the process and effects of web scraping without interacting with real websites or storing data. It does what it says it will do. Need to break down a news story into sure points. That's possible. Want to figure out what's hot on Reddit by looking at the front page. It can do that, too. Even though Scraper hasn't been fully tried to see what it can and can't do, it's a useful tool that can quickly summarize information from any website. Here's another example. So AI developing theory of mind. Theory of mind is the ability to like model what somebody else is thinking. It's what enables strategic thinking. Um, so uh, in 2018, uh, GPT had no theory of mind. In 2019, barely any theory of mind. Uh, in 2020, it starts to develop the, like, the strategy level of a four-year-old. By 2022, January, it's developed the strategy level of a seven-year-old. And by November of last year, it's developed almost the strategy level of a nine-year-old. Now, here's the really creepy thing. We only discovered that AI had grown this capability last month. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out.